What up dudes? My name's Pixel Tricks. Welcome back to Pokemon Moon. We are now going to catch um, my favorite Ultra Beast out of them all. Also a very good Pokemon, very good stalling Pokemon. It'd also be used defensively too. I have my um, Careful Nature Abra in the front and I also have a Modest uh, Alakazam too. So hopefully we'll get the proper natures. Who's this? Oh hey. Uh, thanks for coming. Again. Hey, it's alright, I guess. Hey, looker. I've been waiting for you. What's up? Once again, we've already gathered the intel of the UB we were targeting. Mr. Nanu provided us with everything we needed to know. The UB have been sighted on this island, known as the codename Blaster. It is a fearsome beast that apparently possesses a fearsome energy that will burn to the ground. And it was not a single sign, neither. Yeah, there's two of them. Blaster Faller. What? We cannot afford any delays. I will protect the populated areas, as usual. Pixel Strix, you go do the work. Look, or you stay here and watch cartoons. Okay. Yeah. Are you alright, Chief? I think you're pushing yourself too far. If you would agree, I would be happy to go into the field myself this time, and... I'm fine. I can still handle this. I have you to watch my back after all, don't I? Yes, ma'am. Then I'll be off now. Pixel Strix, I wish you fortune in battle. Okay, bye. Look at my clean bag. Do not push yourself too hard, Chief. Please be careful. She's gone, looker. You bitch. Pixel tricks. Here is beast balls for you. I'll take it. <sighs> Alright. First regular reports. Miss Wiki analyzed the Ultra Beast that you called. If you want to check it out, go to the secret lab and ask me anything if I'm here. This is getting routine now, looker. Alright. So we can go into the Hanu Desert, or whatever it's called, or we can go into the Molly City Gardens, which I think is the easier way, because um, in the desert you just have to deal with the sandstorm and all that mess, so we're just going to take the easier one. I'll go into the gardens, um, and hopefully we'll get lucky. I have a level 1 Abra in the front, so I'm going to have to evolve it, because I'm sure there's going to be plenty of wild Pokemon before I find the real deal. Or I'll find it right away. Never mind. <laughs> okay. This Celesteela is a very cool Pokemon. Very, very, uh, very stall-y. Um, flying and steel type. Also gains access to Leaf Seed. So, you can imagine. Alright, so I'm gonna just go ahead and chuck a Beast Ball because there's really nothing my level 1 Abra can do. Hopefully we get lucky. If not, I got Zeki in the back and I can use Infestation on this thing. And just get some damage over time. Alright, as it's gonna step a Skull Batch. Bash Black. Alright. Well, poor Abra is definitely gonna get it. Hopefully this Beast Ball works. Um, I don't know. You know what that tower in the background reminds me of? It, uh, the Gen 2, the Bellsprout Tower. It looks like Bellsprout Tower, doesn't it? Well, Abra saw his life flash before his eyes, <laughs> and he thought it was, oh god, this is going to take forever, I'll be right back. Okay, to level 21. Nice, Zeki, you did it. Okay. <laughs> no, Jane B. So, after watching Abra level up 20 times in a row, <laughs> I'm sure that the nature is not even going to be correct. <laughs> I just know it. I just know it. So, hopefully that is not the case. Either way, Abra is going to be able to evolve. So, good for you. And, um... Oh, boy. I really hope this is my uh, careful nature. I really hope so. I was like, hey, you learned Zybean. You did it. Okay. <laughs> well, we got Celesteela. This is a very, uh, very good Pokemon. I love the design. It is far out, my friends. Okay. Also, has access to Heavy Slam. Launch Pokemon. One kind of Ultra Beast. Witnesses have seen it burn down a forest by expelling gas from its two arms. Steel flying. Alright. Um. Germ. Uh. Germa. It's Germa. <laughs> I don't know. I like it, though. Germa. Alright, Germa. Please tell me your careful nature, your naughty nature. This is the opposite of what I wanted. 
No! <laughs> sixth time. Sixth. Bleh. Sixth time catching this thing. Nice. Could ever learn disable again? Dude, my nightmare is never ending. How cool. G A A. I'm just gonna name it Jane. And whatever number it took me, Jane Six. This is six time catching this thing. Jang. Jang. I'm gonna Please be careful, nature. Please do it. Nice! Alright, so after six attempts, I finally get one that I need. Nice. Very cool. How lovely. I'm gonna add this thing to my party. For now, I guess. Alright, and my careful nature Kadabra did what they needed to do. So now, um, I'm going to be wanting to get one more of these things. But instead, I want it to be a modest nature so it can be an offensive set as opposed to stalling. Which is pretty cool. Um, I, I didn't know how I felt about having multiple, like, beasts. Uh, at first, but it's kind of cool being able to try different sets and whatnot. And just like that, we get this one first try. Pretty funny. Um, okay then. Just want to double check. And modest. Nice! So we got our modest and careful nature Celestilas. Oh, cool. Look at us, dudes. It's all taken care of. Nice. Let's get out of here. I took quite some while, but at least it's over now. And the fastest way to get Route 13 is to go to Tappy Village. So nice. Those are the beasts taken care of for today. And before anything is done, um, we're gonna go ahead and just switch out our party. Because we don't need these uh, mons in our party anymore. Even though their Alakazams definitely put in work. It's my modest nature one. Okay, so... Careful, Timmy. We'll be needing you next. Uh, yeah, and it'll, just one more to go, dudes. And we got it. We got all the Ultra Beasts in this game. The other ones are exclusive to the other game. So, I still have to level you, annoyingly enough. It probably wouldn't take long. I don't know when it evolves. I think it's around, like, level 30 or something like that. I guess I don't need you in my party right now. Yeah. I have to focus on um, leveling up afterwards, but for now, we're all good. Let's head on out and go talk to the looker and the chief, the master chief, and see what they got to say about this Ultra V shenanigans. How cool, dudes. I'm glad that I took the time to breed the Abras. It's making getting the natures a little easier, if anything. Um, sometimes it can be difficult, but I've gotten pretty lucky with the nature, to be perfectly honest, so I can't even complain at all, really. Alright, then. Dude, I got it! It was easy. Amazing, bravo, well done. <sighs> hmm? What is this? Yes. I finished in the data that you be in Miss Wiki as well. Thank you for your work. You, uh, we should learn everything there is to know about Celestila, also known as UB Playester. And we also have had a word from HQ. There's only one UB left for us to take care of. And we had our hands full with so many individuals for this last UB. It was a rather dangerous situation. But you were alright, Chief. Yeah, of course. Both me and my Pokemon were fine. Of course, we ran into some difficult situations. Being surrounded by the UBs and outflanked by them made it rather tough. Uh, rather touch and go for a while. As I'd feared. What is it? Uh, you've been acting rather odd for a while now, haven't you? Uh, no, it's nothing. Could it be? Why is there so much sexual tension here? Chill out, dudes. Could it be about the long delayed feast? Huh? Oh, yes, yes indeed, what a disaster that you found me, found out. Just this, I'm starving, just starving. How Snorlax feels, I know exactly now. How hopeless you are, Mr. Looker. But I suppose we've been putting it off for rather a long time. You must be hungry indeed. Allow me to take point this time and find a delicious restaurant for us all. Yes, ma'am, thank you. 
It's a bit embarrassing to admit, but I'm actually quite famished myself. So, you two stay here and relax while I go out and find a place to eat. Just check online. The chief doesn't... Uh, can't take much more of this. She must be exhausted. She acts particularly cheery when she's feeling unwell to hide her weakness from others. I know it may be a bit late for this, but there is something I would like to tell you. It is something that happened about 10 years ago now. It came to Alola region at the time as part as a three-person team to eradicate a Yubi. Of course, we did not know them as Yubis back in the day. It was simply a dangerous creature. My team succeeded in chasing it down, and then we tried to put an end to it. But somebody screwed up. Nanu! This half-hearted fool here felt sorry for the monster, even for only a moment. That moment was enough to get the third member of the team done in by the UB? That's heavy! This is... This I cannot deny. I made an error in judgment. I failed to consider the fact that she was not trained for combat. Wow! She was just bait for the UB. The international police knew it. The UBs relentlessly seek out those who have passed through the Ultra Wormhole. The passage must change then, them somehow, as though they've been bathed in some energy. Something that the beasts can smell or sense. It is thought that UBs can tra track such people as though sniffing them out. <laughs> it's not like the monster came here by choice. They don't want to be here. So they smell the familiar scent and think there's been... Uh, there'll be a wormhole that they'll get home. Nanu, you called her bait. She was really... wasn't she? Fallen. No. That is what the international police calls them. Humans who appear from an ultra wormhole. Those who are bait in a great deal of the energy that pours out from them. She had come through the wormhole. She was from another world. She was put on our team to help draw the UBs to us. Now you are repeating history. You got a follow her right here, haven't you? That's right, girl. I'm talking about you. No! Yes, it's true. She passed through the Ultra Wormhole. Pixel Tricks were exposed to the energy, so she may, may be indeed faller. No, but. I'm back. I'm sorry, young Pixel Tricks, but let us continue this talk another time. I'm sorry, you two. I couldn't get a, rest a reservation at the restaurant. Seems like it's a very popular place. Hey, Missy. Mr. Nanu, I didn't realize you were here. No, then one of those monsters is on Pony Island. I'll tell you more when we get there. So we'll meet at the floating restaurant in Seafolk Village. This next one seems like a real tough opponent. Be sure you're ready for it. Of course, we will. Thank you, Mr. Nanu. Triple dots. Uh, Mr. Looker, is everything alright? Of course, it is fine. Not a problem at all. Then I will make my way to the floating restaurant on Pony Island. When you are ready, please meet us there. Pony next. I'll be counting on you. Let us meet the floating restaurant. I know. Wow, they finally made it to a restaurant. <laughs> In the end, didn't they? Well, that's cool. I guess that will be the fun one for next time. But for now, we actually are heading to Pony. But not for that reason. Not right away, if anything. I'm gonna level up some mons. Just a couple of them. We're actually getting very close to completing this deck, fam. No way. So, I'm gonna do that, and I guess I'll be right back. Hey, look at you. Yeah, this is a mis miscellaneous evolution that I've yet to get. <laughs> kind of funny, really. But, um, at least this is taken care of now, so we don't have to worry about it. Matain. Okay, how random. Because <laughs> I traded over my Metagross uh, for a second just to get the Pokedex um, in Pokemon Sun, so yeah. Well, done. I could have sworn I evolved one before, I guess not. Alright then. We're in the final count of them. You're really gonna do it. You're gonna complete the entire Pokedex, aren't you, you clever theme? Iron Cloud Pokemon. Endures magnetic minerals, so it pursues nose pass. It's speed exceeding 60 miles per hour. Hey! Here we go. Yo, Scoops is evolving, dude. No way. 
He's a cute little bird Pokemon. He turns into like a nightmare creature though. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Yo, look at him. Blah! That Jurassic bird. What a crazy mon, dudes. Oh, cool. Archie Ox. Hey. There's another dinosaur fossil Pokemon taken care of. That's cool. 100% dull. First bird Pokemon. They hunted in flocks when one Arceus had its prey cornered. Another would swoop, swoop down on it. It would dunk it. They would dunk in donuts. Hey, Nippy's evolving. Check it out, yo. A little Nippy. Who's gonna nip ya? This seems adorable. I think its evolution gets speed boost too, which is a really good move. Alright. That is so clean. Those green wings. By Brava. <laughs> what a cool looking Pokemon. I don't think I've ever used this before. How neat. Green on yellow. My two favorite colors. I appreciate it. To help make its wings grow, it dissolves quantities of prey in its digestive juices and guzzles them down every day. Okay. Jane is evolving. There we go. Nice. To that crocodile. The um, design changes pretty, pretty bigly. Bigly? I'm so tired. <laughs> pretty drastic change in the design. It's still similar. It's just like, I don't know. It's still cool though. Cool mon. Reminds me of that, uh, character in Banjo Kazooie where you, like, Mr. I forget his name, Mr. Something. Where when you turn into a crocodile, you have to, like, race him to get all the munchy little dudes. Yeah. Intimidation Pokemon. After clamping down with its powerful jaws, it twists its body around to rip its brain in half. Twisted. Nice. Finally, this thing took a long time to level up through affection, but yeah, um, you just gotta level up affection and this thing will evolve. I think it just takes off the mask. I really like how the mask looks, though. Yeah, it looks cool. Still volley. And now I can give it discs and turn it into whatever type that I want. Which is pretty cool. Nice. Oh yeah, and it gets a little wider. I guess they clean them. They're like little head thing right there. The mask is pretty cool though. Nice. Very cool. I don't even know how to describe it, but my circuits are tingling. Uh, although its name was Type Null, at first the boy who evolved it into this form gave it the name which it was known. Oh, how cool. So Wally. Multi-attack. Sure. Why not? What does that even do? Poking yourself high energy, you slam into the target the memory held uh, determines the type move. Oh, that's cool. Signature move? How neat. Well, there you go. How cool. I wonder how many we got left. I don't think that many. We still gotta level up that, like, uh... Two dragon type Pokemon actually, so it's gonna be a while. But um we finally got type null to evolve. How oh, sweet. Alright. Hey the final evolution for Nippy. Oh cool. I actually like its second form a lot. It looks really clean. It's a nice design, you know? The green on yellow. I definitely appreciate it. <laughs> Obviously. Favorite colors and whatnot. There we go. Fly gone. See a lot of elite four members have this. <laughs> a couple generations. Cool. There you go. Nice. It looks like it has specs on. It looks like the uh, specs that one guy has. Okay, nice. Mystic Pokemon Ground Dragon. This Pokemon hides in the heart of sandstorms it creates and seldom appears where people can see it. Alright, I think I learned Boom Burst probably now, huh? I would assume. Dragon Claw. Sure. Why not? I can always teach it later. It doesn't matter. Okay, let's just get rid of this. Cool. Neat. And I think we'll get another evolution right after this, too. But that's Nippy's final form. These dragon evolution chains just always take so long, man. Speaking of, 
Sloosh. Sloosh. Cool, so Sloosh is gonna evolve. They are at level 40 now. Um, they evolved to their final form at level 50 in the rain. So once I get around 49, I need to get like a Drizzle Pelipper on my team. Just to summon the rain, then knock something out. And it should be able to evolve. Alright, cool. This is Ligu. That's Ligu. Blah. It's a little snail dragon. Look at his little hands, dude. <laughs> no, wow, look at this. 99 99. Wow. Soft tissue Pokemon. This Pokemon's mucus can dissolve anything toothless. It sprays mucus on its prey. Once they're nicely dissolved, it slurps them up. Ugh. All right, well, cool. Yeah, dude, we actually got nothing left but legendaries now, pretty much. Which is sloosh. Okay. Nice. Get off Tauros ride. Huh? I've been waiting for you. Now let me explain about the reassembly unit. Cena, you don't even waste a second. I've been collecting Zygordi cells and cores, obviously. We've collected 10 or more cells and cores combined. Anyway, I'll explain. Reassembly unit is a device that has something to do with Pokemon Zygarde. The machine is capable of assembly and separation of them. Assembly is to create a Pokemon. Now, Dex, it's your turn. I've seen this, seen this, seen it. Anyway, there are two ways to assemble Zygarde. One is to add cells to collect, and the other is to create a new Zygarde with only cells. Now we'll explain about separation. Separate Zygarde means to return Zygarde into cells. Separate cells will return a Zygarde cube. For your information, according to the research by Professor Sunnis to Alola, Zygarde is divided into 100 cells and cores. Finally, the number of cells and cores of shape of Zygarde will be different. In other words, it will change form. It is said to maintain the order of Caliph's region. Why Nalola? Is it a sign that something is about to happen? If you collect enough cells and cores, you may get the answer. Anyhow, we'll be taking our lead now. Bon voyage. That was a mouthful. I'd like to assemble. Huh. Okay. Uh, Zygarde and Zygarde cube? Oh, no, no, I don't have a Zygarde. Right. Okay, I get it. <laughs> Let's fuse my Celesteela in it. Okay. No. Not... Yes. Got this music though. Hello? This is clean. I love this on. Assembly. So I guardy cube only. I got 50%, so. Okay. I guess we'll do this. New Zygarde has been assembled. Blah, blah, blah. Nice. 50% form. Goes into a Pokeball. Yeah! Yo! Check it out, dudes. It was easy. Bam! Hey, we registered a legendary Pokemon. It's thought to be uh, monitoring the ecosystem. There are rumors that even greater power lies hidden within it. Who's this? Bum bum, dude! It's the wild Firo technique. Go sloosh! Dude, I'm about to destroy this dragon Pokemon. I mean, with my dragon. Yo, hit it up with that dragon's breath. Blah. Nice. Come on, shit, dude. Oh fuck. Okay, eat it up. Why is sloosh so good though? Okay, you got no friends, sir. Okay. Sloosh! Dragon Breath! Blech. Nice! You did it! You did it! All on your own, too! Look at you! Oh, wow! Why is Sloosh the best Pokemon in the game? Yes! Dude, Sloosh is evolving! Blomp, 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 blomp. I hope it turns into a dragon. This thing is tanky, dude. Who's these? Dude, Sloosh evolved into Gudra. It look, it's all goopy. Look. Nice, Dolly Mine. Bam. 
What a long chain. Had to be overworld has to be raining, by the way. You can't use rain dance, it has to be in the overworld. Whoa! Dude 100 in Ula Ula and Pony. You fell in a single Pokedex. You did it. The Ula Ula Pokedex is complete. You really are something. You really, yeah, you just said it again with Pony. It gets picked on because it's meek. But then, whoever teased it gets to feel the full force of its horns and a good swatting from its thick tail. No way. You shouldn't make fun of people or Pokemon, dudes. That's not cool. Aqua Tail? How about no? Nice. Oh, look, it looks like a happy little dragon. Dude, we actually did it. Look at this. It's 97%. Okay, dudes. Well, I think... You know what? I I think that's every Pokemon that's a non-legendary. Pretty much. Nice. Well, dudes. It looks like we're going to finish up the Pokedex next time. No way. This is awesome. Finally. It's been a long journey, dude. We're about to do it. Ah, so I gotta get my Alakazams in order. And I have been keeping up with Pokemon Sun, so I got the legendaries in those games. All proper natures, of course, already ready for us. So, how cool. Alright, dudes. Well, thank you for watching. I'm gonna get ready for next time. And I guess I'll see you then. Peace, dude. Alright, dudes. Well, you thought it was over, dude. I tricked you. Okay, check it out. We still gotta get the Eeveeism Z. So, that is actually the final Z crystal in the game. And it's a surprise, dudes. I just spoiled it. Shit. It's probably in the title anyway. <laughs> okay, so we're going to Royal Avenue. We're gonna get a Royale with cheese. Um, let's see. Okay, remember that guy a long time ago that said, Come back when you're stronger, blah. And he works at the supermarket. We're gonna talk to that man. Because maybe he's cool. Maybe he'll give us an Alolan Grimer. That'd be sick. Do his Hypno Bluff. Because they have hip Hypnos to hypnotize people into buying stuff. <laughs> no, that's the creepy pasta. I just made that, dudes. Three, even inside, in case they change their minds. Okay, he's just giving me a coupon. This guy's a nerd of. Hello? Welcome to the Thrifty Mega Mart. Thanks for choosing the Thrifty Mega Mart. Hold on a second, pal. You look like a kid. But I cannot tell because you're pretty strong or something. Sure, I'm just a part-time worker here, pounding away at the regular with a smile on my face. But once I was a trainer traveling on my island challenge, I even made a pretty fair name for myself. Cage Toru, the EV user, that was me. But then I got a wife and I had a kid, blah. Now I have to face a new child of mortgage. And I work here to prepare for the most grand trial of all, old age and retirement. But never mind all that. Look, there is something I'd like to ask a young trainer like you for me to do. Back in my heyday, there was eight old trainers they were trying to beat. They all used Pokemon that evolved from Eevee. Would you like taking them on? If you say the kids Tora sent you, I bet they'll agree to battle you. If you can beat them all, I'll have something to give you. It'll be worth it. So just ask if you want me to know where they are. But I'm too smart though, dudes, clearly. So I'll just show you where to go. It's easy. Okay, so first and foremost, dudes, we have to go over here to Hallow City, and um, we're going to go back to Trainer School, everyone's favorite. Okay, so we're going back to Trainer School, because that's where the Vaporeon user is, and she's pretty cool. No way, I love the sign. No, it's ruined because Toro's right. No! Hurry up and phase into the next area so the sign changes. Do it ever so gracefully. There we go. Yeah, I love this on. God, it's so hard to pick a favorite song in this game, dude. They're all so good. This one's not too good, though. No. Okay, let's go in here. So, the Vaporeon user, the spoilers, by the way, is going to be on the third floor, like like these. We have to go up here and go up the stairs, dudes. And then we gotta talk to this person. You're not one of my students, are you? Uh, what do you want from an old cleaning lady? Are you the Vaporeon user? Well, yes, I suppose I am. What's that? Cage Tora sent you to battle me. I don't mind, but no complaints out of you for having to take on this bent old woman. 
Dude, I'm so down to take on bent old women, I guess. Oh, uh, hey. It's Vaporeon, use her poly. She has a green dress. Dude, she has a Vaporeon? No way. Okay, in the luxury ball, I respect it. Okay. This Lucario came in the Pokeball. Don't judge me, dudes. I got it on Wonder Trade. Okay, check it out. I'm gonna use the close combat technique, and it's gonna be easy. Bam, bam, boom, 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 bam. Okay, dead. Nice. Good job, Lucario. Wow. Oh, fuck. I'll be right back after 12 hours. If you want to see Rainbow, you've got to wait for it to stop raining. $11,000 blah. Oh my god, Abra, hurry up. Nice. Okay. Now. Who is this? What is this? Every rain cloud has its end. And no one can win against Times March. Wow. Wow, that's really depressing. Now I'm retired from training, spend my days with Vaporeon cleaning these windows. But how about my boy Cage Tora doing? Is he well? I don't fucking know one, Josh. Alright, so now that that's taken care of, I didn't mean to, we're gonna head on over to Akala Islands in the Taizan Hotel for the Flareon user. It's a pretty sick Pokemon. I used it in a Nuzlocke once and everyone got salty. <laughs> okay. Akala Islands? Where is it? Okay, so it should be at like the Taizan Hotel, I believe. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that, dude. If you quote me on that, I'm gonna be mega- No, it's right here. Dude. Yes. Okay. Uh, no, you can quote me on it. It's fine. I, I take it back. It's fine. Alright, anyway. So now, um, we just fly over there. And then all we have to do is get on Tauros, right? And then we go this way, dudes. It's pretty easy. Oh wait, no. We actually go this way. I just mega trolled you. We have to go this way and go up here. The Vaporeon user is going to be inside this place. I mean the uh, Flareon. Shit. Okay, so prepare your Flareons. Actually, I should probably do that. So let's go, Greninja. Show them why you're in Smash Brothers and Flareon isn't. Guess what is it? Do you need something from me? Are you the Flareon user? Oh, uh, I see. So you know Kichitoro. You would like to see a Pokemon battle for me. How nostalgic. It's been quite some time. Oh, how fun. Who's this? Oh, hi. Flareon user Chad. Oh, cool. Dude, he has a Flareon. Nice. Aw, oh, his little bushy tail. Go, Greninja. Blah. This is my, this is my goopy-ass frog. He's gonna use the water shuriken technique. Check it out, dude. Bram! It did nothing! Greninja's in trouble! It only hit twice. Oh no, this is gonna hurt my Pokemon. Oh fuck Greninja, please. Okay, it's not very effective, dudes. I could have told you that one. Good job, Greninja. You did nothing. You disappointment. It's okay, dudes. You, at least you tried. That's all I can ask out of my Pokemon. Me, JLo! Yeah, you dodge. Don't smog. We're indoors. You're gonna kill everyone in this area. You bitch. Okay, dead. Nice. What do you know is smog? Okay. Sweet. Good job, Greninja. Okay. Kadabra, stop. Oh my god. Um. Pikachu. How did you get in my party? I didn't allow this. I learned Thunder Wave. Sure. Sure. Okay. Do Pikachu do? Nice. Stop. Yes, yes. Nice. Check it out, dudes. We did it. A fire needs fuel to keep on burning, but once the fuel is burnt up, only ash remains. My working life is over. I re Why are they all say really fucked up shit? I've reached retirement, but that is uh, left in my life into ashes. Me and Flareon are doing are done with battling. Or rather, just go home to Lomi Lomi and relax. Yeah, I could tell because you're battling so bad, though. Oh, boom, 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 boom. Okay. So now, dudes, we're going um, to go to Ula Ula Island. 
Um, and we are going to head um, to like to uh, some city, I think. This is Ulu Island. Community center, so it's gotta be like right here. Yeah. I think I actually missed this on um on the playthrough. I think so. No, we went inside, I believe. Yeah, I went inside off camera. I had to get some uh, stones here. They were uh like the damp rocks and stuff. It's fine though. Okay. Hi. No, not this way, dude. We gotta go around. And then we have to go to the community center. It's right up here. Check it out. In here. Yeah. Jolteon user. I think it's this lady sitting here in the green dress. Dude, let's bust out the Lucario from Smash Brothers. Okay, I'm down. Hello? Yawn. The old eyes are getting tired. Are you the Jolteon user? Why, yes, I suppose I am. I'm Jane. Evie? Kichitoro? I'm sorry, child. I don't remember them. I do remember Pokemon battles, though. Uh... <laughs> So I'm not sure if I'm still up to one. Oh my god, I'm just I'm just picking on the elder, elderly at this point. I feel bad. No way. Okay. Oh, that's Jolteon. What's up? Go Lucario. Bruh. Okay. I'm gonna try to hit with close combat, I guess. Um, bam bam boom 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 bam boom. Okay, dead. Oh, that's so sad. Kadabra. Da. No, you can't learn Miracle Eye. Nine. Pika. No, Pikachu, stop. Probably shouldn't have brought them along, huh? You provided a dazzling battle. Five thousand dollars, bull. Hmm. Well, lightning strikes the earth, it was swallowed up and it disappears. Even if you try to whip an old body into action, there are simply limits to what it can do. And besides, I really don't remember anyone called Cage Tora. God, that's so depressing. Nice! Well, while we're here on Ula Ula Island, now we have to go to the electrical power plant. And the fastest way to get there, dude, is to Route 12. Check it out, it's easy. You would think the Jolteon user would be at the power plant, but that's fine, I guess. Okay. Hmm. You know what? You know what? Listen, dudes. I know that you're upset about Greninja's performance before. So, I here's what we're gonna do. Okay? Because I know how much you all love Greninja. We're gonna give him a second shot. I know. You are so excited now. Wait, do you know Dark Pulse yet? I really hope so. I actually don't know. Dumb. Whoops. No, he doesn't. Good thing I checked. Hey. This is a physical move. I'll need that on my Tibbin Nature Greninja. Oh, how cool. Dude, this Greninja's almost got a full set. Just need to learn Hyrule Pump. Okay. Ah. <sighs> So we go here in the Blush Mountain, and then we go inside the power plant, dudes. Check it out. And then they're over here watching television. Hello? I suppose I should be moving. I need to fix Espeon some stuff. Are you the Espeon user? Why, that's a question I haven't heard in many long years. I'm Isaiah. Uh, I didn't say that wrong. I didn't say that right, even. If that's what you mean. Cage Tora. Oh, oh yeah, so I remember that boy. Now that is a tale that takes me back. If you want to have a battle with me, I suppose I could. But please keep in mind that I'm an old man. Holy shit, dude. Well, oh, I guess it's gonna be easy. <laughs> dude, he has an Espeon. Daw, look at the air. The ears there. Go, Greninja. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? Check it out, dudes. It's easy. All you have to do is the Dark Pulse technique. Bam. Oh wow, I did a lot of damage. Power Swap. I forget what that does. What? Please don't do it. Okay, dead. Nice. Dude, Greninja actually did something to say. Dude, that's my red eyes. Nice. Cool. 
Camera. Mega Pikachu. Stop. How come Pikachu learns so many moves? There's no need for two suns in the sky. What? Even the sun itself, who rises with such glory in the morning, must eventually set. So it is for human life, and I think, I think that I see the moon rising on the horizon. What about Cage Tora? He's not that much younger than me. Do tell him I say hello. Why? Why are all the evolution users all so morbid? I don't get it. Okay, we're going to Meme Island again. In hindsight, I guess it would have been a good idea to go there while I was there, but hey. You know, just the thing that I did, I guess. Okay. So I believe the fastest way to get there is to go on Charizard ride, like these. Okay. And then we can get on Tauros ride. Oh, dude, we're right here. Nice. We're going to the cemetery. And this trainer should be right up here, dudes. See? Hey, Espeon user? Or Umbreon user. Uh, uh, no, we just did the Espeon one. Dumb. Lucario from Smash Brothers. Well, let's do it. Hello? I suppose that's enough for today. I better hurry home or that son of mine will go betray me again and wander off. Are you the Umbreon user? The tale is decades old by now. How old are you, girl? Well, that's not wrong. Uh, I was once known as Brayden, the Umbreon user. And you know young Kid Tora? How is that little whippersnapper? Sure, I don't mind battling you. Though, I'm due to check the hospital soon. Why? I'm getting depressed, dudes. I'm getting mega depressed. Alright. Good. Well, at least they're all old, so they have lots of money. To go Lucario. Okay. Why did this man send me on a journey to destroy all these poor people? Bam, bam, boom, 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 bam. Sorry. Okay. Nice! Oh, cool. Well, there are times when there's a full moon. There are also times when you can't see the moon at all. Uh huh. No night can ever be endless. Dawn comes and snatches away the dark. I feel that light creeping into my life, blotting out the stars and stealing away the night. People used to talk about me once, said I was immortal and such nonsense. I was just in the hospital wing a long ago. That's all, but human life does end. Anyway, <laughs> give Cage Tora my regard. Holy. Dude, I have never been sadder from a Pokemon game. Okay, now we're going to, um, uh, let's see, I guess we're on Meme Island, so now, we're going to go to Icky Town, dudes. Maybe this person won't be so morbid. Good. Okay. Glaceon user. This is gonna be easy. We gotta go Icky Town, the far left one, and then we go in here, dudes. Like the... We gotta talk to the, this lady. When is my grandson of mine coming home? Are you a Glaceon user? Well, I'm Ray, uh, who uses always uses Glaceon in battle. You're friends with Cage Tora. Sure, I'll battle you. I'll get over with in no time. Don't you worry. Watch. Hey, dude. What up? She's probably gonna have a Glaceon. That's cool. Okay, go Lucario. Nice. Um, I'm gonna try the close combat technique. We could try it. Bam, boom, boom. Okay, sorry. Good job, Lucario. Dabra, I swear to God, you piece of garbage. You do, Pikachu. Summer ice is most sought after, but no one even glances at winter ice. Well, why would they? 
Even the drifting snow will melt away. The only thing I want out of life is to spend as much time as I can with my grandchildren. You tell Cage Toro that's my biggest worry now. I don't want him sending more trainers after me. Holy shit. I'm so sad. Okay, leave you on. At Hano Grand Resort in Akala Island. Okay, it's gonna be easy, dude. So, um, the Grand Resort. Uh, I think we actually have to go, like, here? Yeah, Hano Grand Resort. But we don't go inside, dudes. We have to go in the beach. Yeah, we have to go this side. But this lady's not old. I don't think so. So let's see it. We'll leave you on. We'll leave with Zeki out. Oh, how fun. Oh, how nice. See, we have to go this way, dudes. And down the stairs. Then we go this way. And then, um... I've never been here before. In this game. Uh, but if you're looking for that sandy gas Pokemon, you can... They randomly spawn there. Who's these? It's about time for my appointment with the beauty... Session? Uh, well, yes, I'm the Leafeon user. I suppose I am. Who might you be, child? Oh, a friend of Kid Shoros? Of course I'll be delighted to battle you. I still have some spirit left in me. Hello. Nice. Don't take it. Okay. There's Leafeon. Why are you in a dive ball? I don't get it. That's kind of cool, though. I kind of like that. Alright. So I'm going to use the gunk shot. And this thing's not going to appreciate it. Yeah. Sorry, Leafeon, but you gotta go. Now y'all gunking gross. Hmm. Oh, wow. No. Oh, cool. Intense battle is a lot for an old body to bear. You, you don't look too old, though. Is she old? I, w I would still. I would still. The flower that blooms will wilt and fall. The stalk will winter and return to the earth. But not for Leafeon and me. We refuse to accept such a reality. I would do everything that money and medicine can do to keep my looks. But my bones can't help telling the truth. At any rate, do say hello to Kid Toro for me. Why did this man put me on this depressing, sad journey? Nice cover up. This reminds me of one time I got really drunk. I'm chilling with my friends, and there's some, like, kind of like middle aged lady came out of this bar. It was like by Safeway, there was a bar by it. And she picked me up, and she was like flirting with me, and she bought me a bunch of beers. And I just got really drunk. And, um. Yeah, then I started rapping. <laughs> I got a dumbass kid, I was like super out of it. <laughs> me and my friend were just doing shit all night. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, I don't want to fuck this all night. <laughs> Alright, anyway, so then we gotta talk to her. Then I'm gonna get Sylveon some snacks from the Melosida shop, and are you the Sylveon user? You're looking for Sylveon user Sakura? That's my grandma. That kid Shora asked you to come visit her, but my grandma died last year, you know? Oh, I know. Here, I keep Sylveon now, how about I battle you instead? Oh My gosh. No. Well, this guy extremely heavy, my friends. I did not expect- I thought this- I was just gonna find- It was gonna be fine, and it was gonna be a good time. And then, all of a sudden, here we go, and we're- just, Everyone's dying and shit? Holy fuck. I'm gonna hit it with gunshot, and, and that's no good. Okay, so Leon, sorry. <laughs> no, just like your grandma now. <laughs> oh, that was too real, me. No Greninja bit. Good job, Pikachu. I can skillfully do what I learned from my grandmother. The sweetest part of life is when you're cute, but the sweetest part is also the shortest. That's what my grandma told me. Maybe you can tell her that to Kate Shara, who whomever. Okay. So I guess that's it, dudes. I guess that's all the evolution trainers. Then after that, all we have to do is head back and see the evolution trainer person, I guess. I don't know. 
Yeah, we have to go back to that one place. That place where the place takes place. Check it out, dude. Uh, we have to go to the Royal Avenue. Royal with cheese. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. I had no clue this was gonna be so heavy. Holy shit. Damn. Dude, it's a Makuhitu evolution. Okay. Let's go in here next to Hypno. We're gonna get another ticket, but we don't care about those dudes. Because we're elite champs, and we can afford things without discounts. Okay, now get out of my face. Welcome to Thrifty Mega Mart. Thanks for coming. Oh, it's you. Wait, what? You beat them all? What happened then? Truly, time truly is cruel to us all, isn't it? Fine then, I'm ready now. I have one last favorite to ask. Do you want to have a battle? Of course. If I do this, I think I'll be ready. Uh, so let's go? What? So let's go, I don't know. Dude, it's the Eevee user. The best of them all. Okay, let's see this Eevee move that's so cool that I know you all want to see. Alright, go Lucario, I know you can do it. Um, how do I not kill you? Swords dance, okay. Okay, Eevee. Do your thing. Give it to Lucario. Trump card? The fuck? I don't want to get political on this channel. Stop. Just use your damn Eevee move. Okay. Maybe he's not going to use it, dudes. Okay, fine. Well, it's not going to like this. Nice. Dude, good job, Lucario. I knew you could do it. I knew it. Bitterness of defeat, I must fully savor the flavor. Ugh. Enough is enough. Our day is coming and it's gone by. I've forgotten your reward here. Take these. Dude, we got the Eevee SMZ. I used the crystal back when I was a young trainer, but I don't need it now. You can use it in build new age. I'll stay here and take care of the mortgage in the old age. Okay, have a good one, dude. Thanks. Thanks. For such an experience that I dare not ever have again. I thought it was going to be fun. I thought we were going to see all the cool evolutions. But now I just have bitterness in my heart. Bitterness and sadness. For my impending doom. For mine and mine alone. Alright, dudes. Well. Oh, no. It's not over yet. I should have ended it. But you know what? While we're here, we got to make some trades. Okay. I need to get those exclusive Pokemon Sun Ultra Beasts. Um, and I did go ahead and capture them. I got the right natures. So I guess I'll be right back. Alright. This is Kartana. This is a Grass Steel, I believe. Very fast, very strong Pokemon. Nice, 99. Drawn Sword Pokemon, one of the Ultra Beast life forms. It was observed cutting down a gigantic steel tower with one stroke of its blade. All right, and this is Buzzball. Very gnarly Pokemon, fighting bug. Yes, gnarly, gnarly mon. Swallowing Pokemon, a mysterious life form called an Ultra Beast. Witnesses saw a pulverized dump truck with a single punch. Alright, friends. Well, I guess that's all. Those were the two ex exclusive Ultra Beasts for Pokemon, um... Pokemon uh, Sun Bleh. That was cool. Well, we got lots... Oh, uh, I know you want to see the EVZ. Alright, the EVZ? Oh, wow, that's kind of dope. Okay, fine. Okay, I got good news and bad news. The bad news is, I don't have an Eevee that knows Last Resort. Um, oh wow, this one's adaptability too. Wow, that's good. Um, the good news is, there's actually no good news. Sorry, dudes. Alright, <laughs> well, I hope you have a good day. And um, we'll probably figure that out some other time. Thanks for watching, dudes. Uh, we're almost done with this game. At least we got all the crystals. We do have them. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Nice. Alright dudes, I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one. Peace.